in previous video we learned how to make style changes in title and in the row heading when we change the row heading styles it was looking something like this all these variations we saw and same thing we applied on the title as well now here what we're gonna learn is here we will be playing around with this table this whole table means the grid lines and all right so let me take you to the SAS window quickly and try to explain you that so this is the part which we have been uh, seeing since the first video of this series so i will not explain anything about this directly i will take you to modify the style of table right so all that you need to do is just say style and here you're gonna say table and over here just put a semicolon and then in table all that we play with is borders right so we can if you just do this and if you just press b from your keyboard i mean just start typing border right so you see all these things you get over here right so border color border width border top top border width right bottom border width bottom border color right everything is available over here right so i highly encourage you to just have a look on this and try to use whatever you want right here i'm just going to show you with border width or maybe let me first start with border color okay border color here over right so i'm going to use the red border border color and if you just do this and just open this report again so what you see over here is border color have been changed to red right so similarly you can change to the color whatever you need it now one thing if you see this table is located at the center of the page now what if you want to put it at the left or right and so on right so for that what you're gonna do is you just use just and then over here you can say let's say left okay and when you hit run and then you go and open this particular report then what you see is that table is aligned to the left same way it will walk to right and so on right so here i'm just going to make it center so that that looks pretty well okay so this is how you can play around with the border color and you know justification now let's say in some of the cases you would not like to have borders at all right so there are many options to do that uh, so over here because we are learning to you know customize the style of borders so we will see how can we do that so for that you can say border width let's change let's use border width parameter over here and just say zero and when you hit run button all that you get over here is you see this is what you're gonna get you see borders are gone now if you don't want to have this red circling border what you can do is you can just comment out this particular parameter all right now if you open this particular thing and if you see over here that's also not looking right or maybe you can just say white that thing okay so similarly there are many other parameters for borders i mean for the table for example cell there are some parameters for cells also you can try all right and for borders as well so i highly encourage you to go ahead and try all the features um, i mean whatever are needed for you right then after this i would like to show you how do you play around with the fonts which we have available over here okay let me show that to you quickly how can you play around with that okay so for that again you're gonna say style and then over here what what you're gonna say is fonts okay and after that over here what you can say is doc font we'll just say doc font and in this in the bracket you can just put size let's say 15 and when you run this you you would see oops there seem to be some problem just bear with me all right here it seems it shows some problem and first what we're gonna use is let's put the name for example i'm going to use times new roman 
Roman and let's run this let's see what happens it worked so in that bracket first we need to specify the font name and then we can put the size now do you see the size how this size is looking this is entire document size you see over here also and in this also it has been changed right so now that was the doc font if you don't want to change the name if you want to keep that as it is let's try keeping it blank and let's see what happens right so i assume that the font will not be changed font face will not be changed only the size will be changed you see the size is changed similarly you can play around if you want you can make it bold so uh, keeping it 15 is too big right so i will just change that to 5 and let's change it to bold right and if you see over here just see over here then what you're gonna get is bold fonts right so this is how you can play around the fonts as well right so doc font all that you need to do is just by type the doc font if you want to play around with title font so there is one separate uh, way which i covered in the previous video you can just change the title over here right but other than that what you can do is you can also say title font and after that you can provide all the parameters for example you don't want to change it so just keep that same and here i want to put this size so size i will put six and then i want to make it italic right so i will just execute this and here we oops there seem to be some problem again just let's just have a check around it end statement is missing i just i believe i you know semicolon was missing over there oops just bear with me this these many semicolons are not really required semicolons are not required with each of the statement okay now that is done over here if you open the document right you just gotta open this document and when you see in this see the title is changed all right so similarly you can make many other changes other than this what uh, we have done additionally is we have created a separate list of all the styles which you would require to understand if you remember in the very first video we showed you what all are the styles that are available so instead of customizing if you are comfortable you can go through this list of styles you can use either of these styles you see these all are the styles which we have available so i will be sharing the link of this particular document i will upload this on github and share the link so you can whenever needed you can just choose any format out of this list and you can use that for example if you want to use this format the style name is harvest so all that you need to do is just come over here and come over here oops please bear with me and just write over here instead of new daisy what you can do is you can simply use harvest and when you run this particular thing over here this one you see harvest style is applied so that's how you can play around with all these styles i will be providing you the list of all these styles which are available in this particular document which i have created the document over here you can use that all okay now other than this you must be wondering you must have this question how do i get to know that this this particular parameter has to be used or this particular parameter has to be used with table style to make the changes how do i get to know so for that there is a syntax for that i have the scripts right i have all the scripts and i can refer them i can refer any of the any one of them and then accordingly i can make the changes for example this is the script i have for daisy so in this you see class fonts we have and from here you see title font is here and these are the parameters which we have so you you can simply instead of saying class you can simply say style and you can use this particular thing and you can pick any of the parameter and you can you, change all these values which have been supplied as per your uses similarly if you will find you will get it for tables as well right and uh, like you can see system footer is available over here you can specify you can make the changes into it for page break all the 
formats are applied over here right so you can pick any of the parameter along with its class right so instead of saying class you can simply say style and use the same thing for example you can copy this patch you can put in your code and instead of these values you can put your own values and then you can use them in your formatting in your customized formatting okay so this is how you can get the script now the question comes in how to get the script right so for that what you can do is you can say proc template and over here you just say run and then over here you come and say source and then in the source you can put the style name for example you want to get the script for this daisy right so that you can do and then you can say file all right just give me one second so after the style name you need to put this slash and after that you're gonna use file and then put the location where you want to export the script and give a name to the script daisy script i would say rather and then say dot sas and semicolon oops this quotation has to be closed right and just select it and then run it so what you're gonna do what you're gonna get is here is the tz script here is the tz script which has been exported so it is that simple now if you want to get the script of all the styles so here i have created one automated automated process which is a macro right you can just simply take this macro and put in your system and you can run that then you will get the style script of all all of the 56 styles which we have seen so far all that you would require to do is download this particular script and change the location to your local machine right wherever you see all these locations you gotta change that accordingly right and after doing that you can simply run this okay nothing else needs to be done and it will create the script for all the styles the way you can see here i have a script of all these styles right so this is how you can do wonders with the ODS templates predefined templates right so you have all these options either you can go ahead and use the predefined any of the predefined template you can customize that and to customize that how to check which parameter needs to be changed you can check out the script as well right so I hope that this was clear to you with this we will end this particular video and uh, I highly encourage you to practice all these things until then happy learning wish you very all the best